All right, I'm not supposed to switch hands because apparently it's loud. Hey. hey guys, it's Will and I have Julian here with me. Say hi, Jay. What's up guys? Oop. We are out here. Um, this is a new customer. They called us with a leaking water feature. So we're out here to investigate, see what's going on. Um, we're gonna poke around a little bit. We're gonna inspect all of our liner edges. We're gonna do that because it's a new customer and we're not familiar with the feature. We're gonna spend a little bit of time just kind of figuring out how it's put, everything's put together. As you can hear, I do have it running already. So we're gonna jump up in there checking stream as well. We know the pond holds water. Uh, they did a leak test. So what that means, it's either gonna be in the plumbing line or the stream. Uh, normally how we check the plumbing line is you have to have a functioning check valve. It's a little flapper in there, keeps them there. What that plumbing part does is that keeps water up in your plumbing line. It's incredibly important if you have a pond because if something were to happen and your pump were to shut off, it keeps water up in your biofall and in that biological filtration wet. So you don't want the, all that beneficial bacteria and everything to dry out. Okay guys, so here we are. We have found a couple spots. Julian's over here. He found some low liner edges, but he's kind of already got those fixed. But what we did identify is the biofall faceplate where that adheres to the liner that eventually goes bad. Um, so what we're gonna do, you know, it's just like resealing your windows over time. We're gonna take that faceplate off. We're gonna re-silicone it, put all new hardware in there and everything. And that's what we're gonna do. So the way we test that is if we can get, we'll like dig down in there and if we try to get our hand back in there and we look or feel for moisture, it should be dry. Like we obviously want that to be a watertight um, connection. So I'll flip it around and show you what, what I got. So here you can see that mud down in there. Okay, so that should be dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this faceplate off. We're going to redo all of these screws and then we're going to put that in there. On this particular feature, we're actually going to drop a new piece of liner in there, flop it in there, and then rebuild this little portion here. So what we have here is a situation. So this liner here is appears to be the actual streamliner that goes down so normally what we like to see is this liner that is attached to your box it needs to flop over the face of that so any water that comes down here is going to go on top of this liner and then proceed to go down so that could be part of the issue i mean other than the identified water loss here uh, it could also just be um you know old liner new pieces put on it you know we're not really sure there's a lot of low liner down in here with what we're following so we're going to kind of follow both sides of this to kind of figure out how it's working and whether or not if it's proper um, so we're going to continue to tear this out probably cut down some of this dirt in here that's going to make this rock work trickier and then we will take this off and Reseal, put it back together, make a waterfall. So you can see here that even though these screws look really good and everything, actually a lot of what it is is these grommets start to rust out or corrode first. What we got, you can see the water how far down it is going on all of this. This is where we identified the water and the goopy, muddy, fun stuff. Walk us through what's going on, Jay. All right, so I am recreating my uh, levels underneath my liner, so then I'll have an easier transition of water flow. A lot of the dirt was stacked up over here, which was causing a lot of that water to flow this way and go over the liner on this side. So what I did was pull the liner back, kind of pull that dirt away and level it out kind of made a little shelf so it goes from here to here it's about a two inch difference just to keep that water moving south um got some rocks right here that i covered with dirt just so then i have a little bit of protection i'm gonna end up flopping this liner back resealing it onto the biofall and when i reset my rocks i'll have a little bit of a grade difference to have that water flow 
Let's just keep it pushing. Now that we have the old faceplate off, we've got everything excavated. We figured out our liner situation here. Looks like this is the original streamliner. This is the new one. So we kind of brought that up and we're worried about this one. We're gonna flop up over that, make sure this one is high and then our new liner will be high until we get down to this next waterfall. So the next steps of this process is we're gonna get these old grommets out of here. We'll pop those out and then we will clean up the box here, the scrub it all out, make it nice and smooth. And then we'll lay a bead of silicone across that. And then liner, faceplate, screw, washer, washer, nut, bam, rebuild. So we got our liner in. I'm gonna situate it to how I want it. And then I'm gonna rebuild, simple as that. So as you can tell, it's obviously a very narrow stream. So we don't have a lot to work with, but we're gonna keep it nice and tight. Julian did his grade work in there. We'll cut this down so it'll go right back into the stream that was down there and uh, problem solved. All right, there you guys go. Came in, found the leak, tore it all apart, took the liner out, put some new liner in, re-silicone, rebuild. And that's what we came up with. Got a nice new sheet. Got some white water going, where it splits off. That sheet is looking good, guys. Now all we have left is to get the homeowner and show them their new waterfall.